from Melrose. Number five, Ellis Davis. Number 10, Connor Brophy. Huh? Number five, Ellis Davis. Number 11, John Ahrens. Number 20, Nasser Montiero. And number 33, Cameron Lippi. Melrose is coached by Daniel Burns. And now for your Wilmington Wildcats, number two, Aiden Bolter. Number 24, Michael Otis. Number 32, Austin Hopper. Number 34, Noah Spencer. And captain number 20, Ben Marvin. Wilmington is coached by John Amico. We ask that you now stand, place your hands over your heart for today's national anthem. Live here at Cushing Gymnasium for tonight's Middlesex League Freedom Division matchup between your Wilmington Wildcats and the Melrose Red Hawks. Excuse me. Uh, starting for the Cats tonight, as you heard in starting laps, Aiden Balter, Austin Harper, Noah Spencer, Mike Otis, and Ben Marvin. For our friends, Ellis Davis, number five, number ten, Connor Brophy, number eleven, John Aaron's, number twenty, Nasir Montero, and number thirty-three, Cameron Lippi. Aiden Balter will jump center. With Lippy. Jim Boyle here, Frank Messer on the board. Jump ball. Cats have been playing well. Tipped out of bounds. White ball. Cats looking again for their uh, third straight win. And I know that uh, Melrose has won four straight. So it's been, it still should be a really good quality matchup between these two teams. Cats have been playing much better. Have to handle the ball, not turn it over. Be quick. Gets it down low, it'll be tipped out. Spencer picks it up, he's guarded by Lippy. Throws it out to Marvin. Good, good pressure man to man. Marvin, nice treble penetration. Finds Harper in the corner, three ball, go! Cats. Cats <laughs> blew the whistle. That was nothing but net, Frank, and took the net right up out of the hoop. Cats with a three nothing, that's what you like to see. That's when I was at the Stoneham game, they won their first game, John Amico's first of his career. And uh, that's exactly what they did there. So uh, Marvin will do it up. Aaron's will bring Bell half court. Brophy, number 10, down low to Lippy. Spins in the lane, throws off the shot, good. They're gonna have to really front that Lippy. That Lippy's gonna kill you down low if you don't get some bodies in front of him. Three, two, Ketz lead. 7-13 to play. Marvin brings the ball across half court, picks up the pressure. Nice little spin move, up and under, lays it, he gets fouled. Again, that's what you like to see, Ben taking the ball right to the rack, drawing the foul. For those of you looking for Tiago Gomez, if Tiago, you're looking, you're watching here live on WCTV, uh, he has uh, come up ill before the game, so he will not be playing. 
So shout out to Tiago. Hopefully he's watching. First shot. Back room, no good. Ben's going to make those. Like I said, keys to the game for the Cats. Handle whatever pressure is thrown at them, A. Make your free throws, B. And try to keep Lippy from catching the ball down in the 10-foot radius. An easy shot. 7.06 to play. Cats bound in and out, no good. Cats with a 3-2 lead. Now Rose will bring ball across half court. Brophy, Davis. Long three ball. No back room. Good rebound by Balter. That three was shot by um, Aaron. Sorry. Harper will bring it up, and Melrose has dropped back, will not pressure. Throws the ball to Marvin, right in the lane. A little bit dribble, dribble drive, got to kick it. Throws up the shot, back rim, no good. Ooh, too much um, razzle-dazzle there for Ben. You got to try setting your players up. He, he got in the penetration of the lane. Davis, down low to Lippy. Up, no, and drops it in. Again, they're going to have to either front him or Balter's going to have to push him off the block because he is a dominant force down low. Football player as well, Melrose High. There's Marvin. Finds Harper, back out to Mikey Otis. Harper, three ball, out of rims, out, no good. Rebounded nicely there by uh, Brophy, he'll look to push. Four to three, Cats trail, 6-11 to play. Again, they're gonna try to drop it down low if they have any ideas. There's Davis, long three, good. Ellis Davis hits the three, Cats trail by four, seven to three. Settle down, look for a good shot. Harper to Marvin. Don't force it there. Got to kick it out. They're going to lay five out. Harper with a good ball fake. Right down low to his cousin, Aiden Balter. Throws it up. No foul. Rebound by uh, Spencer. They're going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow belonged to Melrose. It's going to be tougher than Noah down there in the trees. He's going to have to really be aware of where he is. The size of Lippy and the size of Balter. You don't get too many big guys here in the Middlesex Freedom Division like this. Brophy will bring the ball up, up across. No, no, excuse me, that'll be Aaron's. I see, I'm seeing numbers here. Ontario drives lanes, good. Cats got a really pressure. Keep people in front of you defensively. Marvin brings up into that first three. The uh, friends from Melrose have hit nine trade points. There's Balter out high. They're going to call travel on Aiden. Not the start that uh, Coach Amico wanted here. Um, again, uh, you know, like about an hour and a half before the game, we found out that uh, Tiago wouldn't be here. So the sickness of your, one of your point guards is it's tough to overcome when you lose them that quick. Lippy up high. That's where you wanted to catch it. Keep him out there. Brophy. Fake the three. Aaron's back out to Brophy. Drive in. Dish out. Montiero drives the lane. Throws it up. Ball back glass. No good. Tipped around. Nice rebound there. Good box out by Balter. Picked up by Harper. Given to Marvin. Spencer will take it back out. Settles in. A nice pass to Marvin. Good block by Lippy. Took it right to the rack. Didn't get the bucket. Cats trail by six. Nine to three. 438 to play first quarter. Lippy. Foul's going to be on hard on Balter on the floor. Again, if he catches the ball 15 free from the basket, you've got to force him to the middle. Ball will be inbounded by Melrose underneath. Lippy is going to be a handful for Aiden. Aarons throws it to Montiero. Montiero, good cut there. Almost a walk, didn't get it. Shot for three is no good, picked up. That was Austin Ellis Davis, shot for three. Picked up by uh, Marvin. Marvin will look to set up Spencer up top. Spencer rolls to the hole, lays it up, misses the layup. Good little move, good power move, just couldn't convert. Montero takes it right at Mike Yotis. Deep out here. Long three ball. No good. Rebounded by Marvin. Three ball by Brophy. Nope, he'll be out of bounds. Good anticipation. That's a, well, the Cats really, when they've struggled this year, they've struggled with their passing a game. Throwing a ball where they shouldn't throw it. Timeout on the floor for a tight shoe. Cats will inbound over in front of the scorer's table. Mike Otis. Otis, Marvin, Spencer, Harper, and Balter in the game. Gets it to Marvin, right down the middle, stops, throws it underneath Hartman. Spencer's legs. Another turnover for the Cats, trail by six, 3.59 to play, halfway through first quarter action. Cats hit the first three of the game, haven't scored since. Aarons will bring the ball up, slowly to set up the offense. Marvin on him. Back up to Montero. Dribble penetration, tries to get the shot up over Balter and scores. They got um, they got nine of their, uh, eight of their points in the lane. One on the three. Eight of their points in the paint. Cats are going to have to stop that. Marvin dribbles into penetration. Back out to Balter. 
Walter feeds Otis back out to Harper. Harper dribbles, gets, gets hacked and fouled. He picks his shot up. Back out to Otis, 18, 16 on the clock. Cats with plenty of time. Good ball movement. I recall the charge on that. Marvin's doing a little bit too much in the paint. Tough call. We've seen tough calls also in the girls' game as well. So Ben Marvin's going to play a little bit more under control. Cats in trouble here. Down eight. In trouble getting blown out of this game early. They're going to have to settle down on defense. Limit the touches in the paint if they can. Marvin. Aarons. There's Lippy. The field ball fake. Spin. Throws it up and lays it good. He'll get fouled. Kick over the ball fake. Let him shoot that Aiden. That's a Balter's foul. Team foul number four. Davis out. Zooey in. And Katz getting completely annihilated down in the paint. Haven't gotten really good look on offense as well either. Trying to force things that aren't there. They've got to really settle down the offense. Runner with speed. Yes, that shot will hit nothing but air. That does not count. It'll be, it'll be a Wilmington timeout here. Coach Amigo sees something he doesn't like. They're down 10 already, 13 to 3. They've not really had, if it had one good shot, that was the two good shots. Harper missed a three and made a three. So with 3.06 left to play, um, we got the uh, Cats trail 13 to 10. We got a little small pep band down there. We got the drummer, we got the guitarist, we got the keyboard player. And, and Frankie, they're going to rock it hard this afternoon, I think. That's what we like. So again, we are here live at Wilmington High School. Thanks a lot to Power. Our coverage is powered by New England Sports Force, John Sewer and Drain Cleaning, Jim Boudreaux's Automotive Service Center, and Full Circle Athletics. We appreciate their sponsorship and their help. Again, today is the uh, K, uh, play, for, play, for, play for K game, or play for, they call it, hashtag play for K gals. Uh, cancer to cover all cancers for women. To help those disadvantaged get coverage they want. We'll get Jess Robinson at halftime. We're going to go down to the sidelines next time out. 3.06 to play. Ketzel inbound the ball. Marvin finds Harper, uh, Balter, excuse me, Balter to Harper. Febbo back in Harper's three balls. Good! This was a doctor. Oh, the, the three from Austin Harper. Ketzel put pressure on down 13 to 6. That'll make some stops though defensively. Febbo in the game for Spencer. Everybody else stays the same. Brophy down low to Lippy. Stay, stay your gun. Nice block there by um, my good friend uh, Aiden Walter. Long three ball's going to be way short. Going to drop out of bounds. Going to be out of bounds on Melrose. That's what you like. Aiden Walter stood his ground on Lippy. Made the block. And don't go for the ball fake. Wait till he goes up. Excellent defensive play. 233 to play. Catch trail 13 to 6. Hopefully we'll have an uh, interview in the, at the quarter break down in the student section. Owen White, who was just in the studio with me, is sit down getting ready. Looks like he's got Jimmy Cables or a hockey team. Hockey, hockey team's got some big games coming up as they look to increase their ranking. So there's a foul on the floor. Cats looking to settle down on offense. Mikey Otis Limbaugh uh, in front of the scores table. Gets it over to Ben Marvin. Marvin feeds Balter. Balter back to Harper. Harper's got a little bit of a lane. A uh, little four shot that he didn't want to do. He got stuck down low and hard threw it a bit. Spot he shouldn't have thrown it. Brophy steps back. They're going to try to drop down low. Force him out. Aaron's back out to Lippy. He'll shoot the three ball. In and out, in and out, and drops by. Nice rebound for Febbo. He gets hacked. That'll be a foul. Ten. Aaron, this is be Connor Brophy on the foul. You know, I think that's where you want him to shoot that shot. If the big guy's going to do it, let him shoot the three all day. 13 to 6. Cats trail. Two three pointers for Austin. Harper, 159 to play here in the first quarter. Finds Harper, finds Balter, back to Harper. Around the ball screen, finds Febbo up top, throws it too far, too hard for Balter. Balter's head wasn't turned there. If he had waited a split second and he didn't got his head turned, that was open. That play will work if they can execute. Brophy finds Lippy. Lippy will bring it across the half court. He's going to put the body there. Euro step. They're going to call a foul on Balter on the block. He didn't get up into the arm. You gotta, you gotta deny the ball to him, I'm surprised. I know that Coach Amigo's not happy. He's gonna bring, um, looks like Remy Elliott coming in. 
33. Remiel is going to come in for Austin Harvey. He's going to have to really play hard, tough defense against Lippy. Lippy's three free throw, excuse me, is no good. Hasn't really been close on the free throws. Ball to replace by 33. Remy Harper. Ah, excuse me, Remy Elliott. Apologize. Get names mixed up. That's what happens when you get old. 142 to play. Do double headers on a Friday night. 6 13 to 6. Second shot is good. Third, 14 6. Catch trail by 8. Shooters coming in. They're going to take us all. As Balter goes out, they bring Davis back in. So for the Cats, we've got Marvin and Otis. We've got uh, Febo, Elliott, and Harper in the game. Have to spread it out here. Make good passes. Get a good open look. Harper, three ball. Good! Austin Harper is third, three of the quarter. Cats trail by five, 14 9. That was a travel. We got a turnover here. All right, here we go, Ben Marvin. 125 to play. Like I said, I got a halftime interview with one of the hockey, some of the hockey players down there. We've got a big game coming up. Marvin feeds it to Otis. We need one more good bucket here, good possession. Back to Mikey Otis. Up to Harper, up top. Mike Otis again. Back to Febo. Febo don't throw this too hard. Febo beats his man off a dribble. A little jumper short. Tipped around. Picked up again by Febo. Fed to Marvin. He'll dribble penetrate. Nice little spin move. Back out to Mike Otis. Three ball. Off the front rim. No good. Good rebound by Febo. But he gets fought away. They're going to call. Jump ball. Possession out for one of the Cats. 56.7 seconds left to play here in the third. First quarter. 14 to 9. Cats drill. Big possession. Big 56 seconds left. Cats playing hard now. They fell behind early. Done a good job. They can sit out to Otis. Otis open for the three ball. Long. No good. Tipped around. Marvin. Broken, break a nuts to throw away. Another turnover. Montero threw that one over Davis's head. Cats 49.5 seconds up again. Another good big possession here for the Cats can cut the lead. They're only trailing five. Good job. Harper came back to help out Mike Otis. A good. That was a nice little defensive man on pressure by uh, Montero on, on, on uh, Marvin. Elliott fades into Har Marvin. Marvin dribbles into trouble. Gets tipped. Gets tipped again. A lot of plenty of time here. Settle it down. Get a good set. There's Febo. Down low to Remy Elliott. Nice little spin move. Shots up. Bounce ring. Oh, in and out. Nothing. Nothing falling. Remy almost had that. Remy Elliott. First action in a long time we've seen him. Melrose shoots the three ball. Long. Tipped around. Let it go out of bounds. Cats will get the ball. About 14 seconds left. 13.5 seconds left here in the uh, first quarter. Down by the Gatorade. So our, our, our Owen White was in the studio, was down by the Gatorade. Hopefully he won't be a, do a good job with the interview. Marvin finds Harper. Harper back to Otis. Five seconds left. Harper, ball fake, gets bumped, throws it high up and over. They're not going to get any shot here. That'll be the quarter. At the end of the first quarter, Cats, that went in anyway. Doesn't count. Cats trail 14 to 9. We'll be back with this interview right after this. How's it going? It's Owen White here. First question, Nolan Joyce. How's the game going so far? Ba games are going great. Last time it was a close game against Melrose. I made the trip out there, but I think the boys are going to hit the threes more, you know? Same question to you. How do you think the game's going? Uh, yeah, boys playing really well right now. Got down early, but they're drilling threes. b Marv just hit like a half court, but didn't count, but I think they got a good they got a good game going so far. Who's your favorite player on this basketball team? Um, Got to be the team manager, Ashton Stalker. He's so cute. Last question, who's your favorite player? I mean, it's got to be Mikey Otis. The improvement, the skill over the course of the year has been absolutely unreal. You know, he gets the balls in deep, but you know, let's go Wildcats. Thank you, Owen White. We had uh, Ryan Watson and um, Nolan Joyce down there. Melrose come in, we got the pep band playing. We got a short, close game. Hopefully we get some thumb down. We we'll play four night here at the uh, high school. Melrose win down underneath me here. Montero. Gets it to Aaron's. Cats out there with uh, Marvin, Spencer, Elliott, Otis, and Febo. 
You have to try to generate offense off your defense here. Cats trail by five, 14-9. Ball fake, over wide, they get it down low. Good, you gotta keep your body on him, Remy Elliott. Good job, they swing it around. Cats will give up that shot if they have to. Good, good ball movement here, good. There's the three ball, Montero. No good, oh, rebounded by, through, through Marvin's arms right into Spencer's. That's also what the Cats need. 7.25 to play here in the quarter. Marvin dribbles it into traffic, feeds it back out to Febo. Febo stops, gets grabbed. That should be a foul. Now will be a foul, and I can see the coach running out. Keep your hands up, keep your hands up, keep your hands up, and they didn't do that. Harper about to come back in the game. Harper for Febo. Febo gives him some good minutes there. That's what he's going to need. With, with um, Baltimore with two fouls, and Tiago uh, Gomez out for, with the illness. They're going to need a lot of minutes from a lot of players. Throw it deep. Oh, nice low to Harper. He gets hacked. Down low, he gets hacked again. He loses the ball out of bounds. Now Rosa look to push. Aarons stops. Back out to uh, Davis. Over here in the corner, Montero. Davis, Ellis Davis, number five. Back out to Aarons. That's Zui. Not, not, not Zui, I'm sorry, excuse me. Stay down, there you go, good job. <laughs> On the butt rebound, that was uh, Lamas. Lamas, there's uh, Elliott, go right at him, go right at him. Elliott gets down low, lays it up and in. Just what we need from the bench player. Remy Elliott, good job, playing hard, gets the body, scores, Cats trail by three, 14 to 11. 6.36 to play, it's gonna be, a, you're gonna have to play real good solid defense. And they're gonna try to get it down low, stay right there. Throws it up, and that'll be good. It's hard, you're asking, you're asking a shorter player to guard Lippy. Lippy makes the end one opportunity, 16 to 11. That foul is gonna be on 33 Elliott. 6.28 to play, Cats trail by five. Lippy's one and one's good. Cats will be down by six, 6.28 to play. Gotta get a good offensive set. Looks like they're gonna try to force the ball out of the hands of, Har of uh, Marvin. Gets it to the corner of Spence. Spence has nobody open. It's tipped away, picks it up, gets it back out to Elliott. Elliott cross court to Marvin. Marvin settles, shoots the three ball. Ooh, in and out, no good. That bucket hasn't been fun for Wilmington tonight, either boys or the girls. Gets it here in the corner. Ball fake, penetration, kicked out. Three ball, nope, fakes the three. Montero drives the lane, throws it up. And he'll get fouled to go in the hole. That foul will be on Elliott. It'll push. That'll be his second. He's going to have to eat some minutes here for the Cats. We two shots. Number 20, Nasir Montiero, a senior. Cats trail by six. Just under six minutes. Back rim and no good. And it's a war of attrition if you don't make your free throws. So the Cats, uh, at least they got going for them. Melrose hasn't made every free throw they've attempted. Shot is up, good. 18-11, Cats trail by seven. Need a really good offensive set. Marvin drives the lane, throws it up and in. Nice job, Ben Marvin. Whoa, down goes Spencer, he gets back up. That way they got, they got Lippy out of the way, so Marvin had a lot, nice clean run at that. Throws it down low. Nice spin move there by Lapis, it's good. Lamas is good, they gotta really under, they gotta be aware of where everybody is that they play this man to man. Marvin bring the ball across half court, Cats trail by seven, 5.23 to play. Out to Spencer. Spencer gets bumped, keeps his dribble. Does his metal arc lemon impersonation. Ben Marvins, tries to penetrate the lane, nobody there. Gets it down low, that's a foul, they don't call it. Good move by Remy. Elliott misses the shot, weak side rebound for Lippy. Cats need to play good solid defense. Little bumping going on. Shot is faked. Montiero feeds Aarons. Nice play, Elliott's got nice play, not Elliott. Marvin's will look it up, lay it up and in. And there'll be a foul on the play. Lamas comes down hard on Marvin after the shot is made. Cats with a traditional three point opportunity. Good steal up front here by the Cats. Lovell's gonna come in for Elliott after uh, they should let him in this shot because it's Dan one, so Cats can cut it to four. Marvin was ahead. Might go to Solit, fed him. Here's Lovell 14. 
in for uh, Remy Elliott. Elliott gave him really, really, really tough minutes today. Now, now Lovell's going to have to give him those tough minutes because he's not going to see Balter until the second half. 4.46 to play. Cats trail by five. Well, they called that after the shot? That should be one, right? Frank, if I was seeing things, I thought that was an and one. No, they're going to give it after the shot. So after he made the shot, he got fouled. So the shot counts. Cats with an opportunity. It's Harper for three. Off back rim, no good. Rebounded toughly there by Aaron. So look to push. Brings it up. Montiero. Excuse me, that's Montiero down low. Got to keep a body on Lippy. They're going to call that foul on Lovell. He just got there a little bit too late. Ellis got the lane, beat his man, and, and just, um, just a little too late there for uh, Connor Lovell. Seventh team foul, so they'll shoot two as he was in the act of shooting. Like I said, 4.33 to play. Cats trail by five, 20 to 15. Going to have to be a defensive struggle. First shot's up and good. Second shot here for Davis. Ellis Davis, senior captain. 21-15, catch trail by six. Shot is up, back rim, no good. Good rebound there, good box up with it. Lippy picks it up. Cats having trouble picking up, but Spencer had a good box out. They just didn't get the rebound. Marvin goes hard right to the rack, bumps this guy. They're going to call charge. Calls with the arm bar going across. Fouls on Ben Marvin. Cats trail by six. Crucial point of the game about halfway through the quarter. Aaron's. Montiero. Going to try to get the ball down to Lippy. Zoo. Zooey, excuse me. There, Lippy. Keep him there. Keep him doubled. Good job. Make him force. Good play. Good play. They forced the big guy to make a bad pass. Mikey Otis in the right place with a steal. Cats trail by six. Got Harper. Hit three threes. Marvin. Back to Spence. Spence has got the big guy on him. Feeds it out here to Lovell. Lovell, good movement here for the Cats. Good, good movement. They're going to get a good look. He walked there. He got away with it. Throws it up. Misses the shot. Good rebound by Lovell. Knocked out of bounds. Ball belonged to Melrose. Almost had a good rebound. Lovell snuck in there. Cats did a good job with the ball movement, getting in, getting Melrose to move and out of place. 3.43 to play, 21-15, Cats drill. Brofield will bring the ball. Nope, I'm sorry, that's Aaron's. I can't get the 10 and 11 out of my head. Aaron's, you try to get to 33, Montero. Oh, fakes the three, they'll piss it, kick it back. Montero with a little penetration, a little runner up and in, no good. Rebound by Marvin, look to push. They don't have numbers. Take it right to the rack. Nice job. Forcing the contact. Throws it up off glass. No good. That's what we want, though. Call hard to the rack. Grof, um, excuse me. Libby for the rebound. Aaron's back here to Davis. Aaron's there. They ball fake everything. If you hold on the ball fake, you'll be okay. 3 0 3. We're going on to three minutes here. Zooey throws it up off glass. No good. Gets his own rebound. Aaron's the ball fake. Throws it up. Back rim. No good. Tipped out of bounds. Tips around. Too many offensive rebounds here. Davis will pull it back out. Over here, Montero. There's Aaron's. Montero, they're going like four out. Throws it back out to Davis. He'll shoot the three ball. No good. Front rim. Rebound. A nice position there by Spencer. Picked up by Marvin. Up ahead to Lovell. Level back to Marvin. Spencer. Out to Otis. Otis to Harper. Harper to Marvin. Marvin with the open three ball. Back rim. No good. Spencer battles for rebound, doesn't get it. Outsize, that's all. Won't be pushed off the court. Zooey throws a cross court to Davis. Davis will take it to the lane, hold your ground, misses the shot. Lippy will throw it up, misses the, uh, it'll drop in. It's gonna be tough, you gotta be tough, you gotta be hard, timeout. Are we ready for, uh, we'll go down real quick? All right, we're going. He's not ready though. Here's a question for you. Who's your favorite player on this basketball team? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Michael Lollipop Lawler, even though that he cannot play right now because he got a baby shoulder. All right, non-basketball question. What's your score prediction for tomorrow's game? Wilmington Hockey versus Stoneham. Uh, probably like 10 nothing us, like Stoneham's ass. All right, back to you, Boyle. 
All right, Jimmy Caples, that's the defensive pairing, number one defense team, uh, Owen White and Jimmy Caples. Again, our, our hockey team's been playing really well, thanks down to Owen there. We're back here, two minutes to play. Like I said, we're going to try to get uh, Jess uh, Robinson, Coach Rob, as our halftime guest. She's the uh, impetus behind the play for, the play for Kay. Um, should I do that at halftime? That means i got to run down and back, Frank. I'm only out of breath. Cats will come out, trailing by eight, 23-15. They're having trouble with Lippy down low, but even with the Eden Balter in the game. They knew that going in. They knew they had to try to front him, keep the ball away from him. Cats will be on offense. It'll be Har uh, Harper, right? Yeah. Uh, Rose is in the game. Rosa, Harper, Lovell, Otis, and my good friend Ben Marvin down here. He was in studio. That's online. They'll try to run their motion offense. A nice little dribble penetration. Throws off a runner. Rebounded by Lovell. Dropped out of bounds. Just lost it off it. I think Harper got a little bit too deep with that. It's a good idea, but a little too deep. They get a big, big 155 here. Got to stay in this game. They get it to Lippy. They feed it over here to Aarons. Deep in the corner to Brophy. Back to Aarons. They're going to try to get it down low. Harper out in the wing. They're going to front the big guy, which they're going to leave it up to Lovell. They're going to cut. Rose is back out playing defense. Zui, Montiero, Aarons. Nice little ball fake. They really like that ball fake. He'll go right to the rack and get fouled by Rosa. That'll be a shooting foul, but it would have been there. We're in the bonus anyway. 135 to play. Cats could drop down to 10 here. And like I said, this is a very important um, uh, first um, last 135. Cats got to right the ship, get Balter back in the game. First shot here, Aaron. It's good. 24-15. Cats deep into their bench again. Like we said, Tiago Gomez missing uh, with illness. And then Harper got, not a Harper, oh, Balter got two, uh, two fouls in the first quarter, had to take him out. Second shot is up, back rim, front rim, and good. Cats trail by 10, 135 to play. Got to get some points. Harper, uh, excuse me, level right to the rack, lays it up off glass, no good. Rose almost fouls, that's a good look though. He's got to lay that, they got to lay that one in. Over here to the wing, Brophy, they're going to try to get it down low. They've been living, living in the paint. They get it to Lippy, back to Brophy. Brophy's three ball's gonna be way short. Rebounded by Otis, 109 to play. Cats trail by 10, need a bucket. Otis, st stutter step, out to Rosa. Rosa shoots the three ball, short. Rebounded by Lippy, almost rebounded. I don't know if that's the shot that the coach won it. I feel bad, Lippy. Good, good defense by Lovell. Lovell's got an assignment, he knows what he has to do. Montiero, drop it back out to Zui. So he beats Rosa to the rack, lays it up and in. Cats trail 12, 45 seconds left. They're gonna go in the halftime behind. It's just a matter of how many behind. There's Lovell, back to Otis. Otis to Rosa, Marvin. Gotta get their shooters the ball. Losing Tiago really hurts. Nice move by, oh, he fed it and missed him. Good move by Marvin's turnover hurt. 24 seconds left. Our good friends from Melrose probably going to hold for one last shot. Cats do not want to foul. 27-15. Chats trying to force him to go quick. Zoe does go quick. Falls down and gets the pass to Brophy. Brophy slides over. Zoe will shoot the three ball. Shot's long and no good. Rebounded by Lippy. Back out to Aarons. Coach is yelling for one shot. Missed shot. Good rebound by... I think called Travel. Rosa with a good rebound. He traveled before he threw the pass. Coach Amico not happy about that. Not a really good last two minutes of the quarter here. So we got 5.4 seconds left. Cats trail 27-15. Important possession here. At the half, I'm going to run down to my um, my spot at, half, at the half court, try to get Jess Robinson a few seconds with her. They get it to Lippy. They tie him up. Throws up the shot. It's going to be and one. Cats are going to trail big. Minimum of 14, 1.8 seconds left. He scores. He's dominated down in the paint, which we understood. That was the scouting report. Cat's going to have to find an answer at halftime for that. 29-15. Cat's real. 1.8 seconds left here in the first quarter. First half, excuse me. Shots up. Rim no good. Rebounded by Lovell. That'll be it. He'll throw it long and go all the way down court. At the end of the first half, Cat's trail 29-15. We'll be back with halftime action right after this.
Jessica Robinson, the impetus behind this um, Play for K. So what was the idea? How did you come up with the idea? And what, what's your thoughts? So um, back in the 2019-2020 season, we also did the Play for K fundraiser. Um, and it was really successful. We were able to raise around 1300 bucks, I think, that year. Um, and I know with um, both John and Chris being new coaches, they have a lot of other things they're, they're focused on, so I thought it would be great if I could pitch in, help them set up a fundraiser um, for the teams to, to run. Okay, so we've done this twice now. Yeah. How do we pick Play for K? There's a million things we could pick. What, what's the impetus behind that? Um, so Kay Yao was a women's basketball coach at NC State who died of breast cancer. Um, in February, the, the women's college basketball um, is, is go, goes pink for the month of February. So um, that's something that trickled down to high schools. Um, you know, it's a great initiative. It's based um, on a, a former basketball coach and it's a great way to get the teams involved in doing something good for the community. You, know, you said former basketball coach. I would be remiss to say you are our former basketball coach. I love covering your teams. Um, uh, what's it like being on the sidelines now as the, as the first year sitting around and watching? Um, you know, I miss it a lot. Um, but at this time in my life, uh, it was more important that, that I didn't miss moments with my own children. So there's always a chance to pick it back up down the line. Um, I, I think Chris and John are both doing great jobs as, as a spectator. I enjoy watching their teams and rooting for them. Um, and I think both of them have a really bright future. And okay, one final question. How are the kids doing? Are they advancing in basketball? What are their sports, the two kids? So my daughter is in karate and dance right now. She finished up basketball in the winter. Um, some days she loved it. Some days I had to hold her hand through everything. Um, and my five-year-old son is in karate, flag football, and basketball. Um, I actually lied about his age to sneak him into a, a clinic in Salem, and he's keeping up with the first and second graders. So, Coach, Rob, sorry about that, Coach Rob. I won't tell anybody in Salem, but I really appreciate what you do. I know you teach at the school. You're doing a great job. The kids love you. Thank you very much for doing all this. Or anything else you want to say about the fundraiser? Uh, thank you for your donations and go Wildcats. Thank you. And we'll be back with more second half action after this. Welcome back for second half action. Here we are live at Wilmings Cushing Gymnasium on the high school campus, we'll call it, just because I forgot. I gotta say something. The band's gonna play my song eventually, Frank. Here it comes. We gotta make sure we get it. They play Glory Days from the boss. They've been practicing it all week, but we got basketball to play here. Melrose leads 29-15. I gotta say, we will have the pep band guys, um, Tom Seek and Jared Parks, are gonna come on my show, and hopefully they'll play some good music for me as well. They're doing a great job, and two students who really stepped up to get a pep band here, and it's great for the atmosphere as well. They played here, and they played at the hockey arena. So we're getting ready to start second half action. Melrose with a 14-point lead. Cats really fell apart last two minutes of the game of the half. Excuse me. Just want to thank before we come out our sponsors. Um, our coverage is powered by New England Sports Floors, John Sewer and Drain Cleaning. Jim Boudreaux's Automotive Service Center and Full Circle Athletics. Capsule and Mellow Ball right underneath me. Mike Otis gets it to Marvin. Otis, Marvin, Harper, Spencer, and Balter to start the half. Marvin, long three ball, off back rim, high rebound, tipped around, picked up by Aarons, and he'll throw it up. Picked up by Brophy, excuse me. Brophy feeds it to Davis. Out to Montiero, dribble penetration. Back out to Brophy. Don't shoot the three. You gotta make, you gotta try to force them to shoot the three ball. Davis dribble penetration, lays it up, he gets fouled. A lot of fouls on the Cats tonight as they're a little late on their defensive switches. Davis will go to the line, he'll shoot two. And they're feasting on the line right now, too. I should have gotten halftime stats when I was down interviewing Co Coach Rob. J. Rob, Coach Jess Robinson, who's running the uh, Play for K fundraiser. They do a great job here. First shot by Davis is but front room and no good. Just, just a note, J. Rob was a coach, a girls basketball coach here for about five years. I think I called four of her five year games and she's um she led some great teams. We had some great moments with those uh, girls basketball teams. Just turn it over to Coach Rosori. Now it's Coach Amico here. Second shot, front rim, back rim, dribbles around. Balter with the rebound. He gets racked around by Lippy, but he'll control. Cats drilled by 14. Need to get some buckets here early. Balter takes it right on. Got Spencer. Spencer's got Balter down. Like throws it up. Good rebound, Balt. 
Walter get hacked away there. They're going to call them. They're going to call them both ends. That's exactly what you want to see. 7-13 to play. Walter gets fouled down low. Who gets held in reality. Ball be inbound. They get it. To, oh, nice tip. Just an interesting play. They tried to be with good, strong hands as uh, Melrose go under seven minutes with a 14-point lead here, third quarter. Aarons to Brophy. Montero, Lippi. Oh, good job not going for the ball fake. Good block, good box out. Oh, he tipped it over Spencer. Spencer keeps it down low. Again, the big guy did one mistake there. He brought the, down ball, brought the ball down to his waist. Made Spencer taller. They throw it down low to Balt. Spins around up and good. That's a look. Got him moving. Got him moving. 29-17. Cats trail by 12. 6.38 to play. Montero goes down low. They'll double him up. Throws it up hard. Falls down. No foul. Good defense. That's a double. They doubled him. They didn't front him. They doubled him. Marvin drills. Gets bumped. Throws it off to Otis. Otis with a runner. Good. Cats got to play some defense here. Don't want to foul there, Mike Yost. Good little floating runner. Cuts the lead to 10. Spencer on a much quicker guy. He does a good job, but don't let him get in front of you. Brophy breaks the pressure. Davis ball fake. He's got Harper on him. This looks like a travel. I'm not allowed to say that anymore. Montero finds Brophy. Gets it in the lane. Throws it up. Tipped out of bounds. It'll be Melrose ball. Good defense. Let him play a little bit underneath here. Much to the Cats' advantage, they're allowed to play like that. Ball being bat under their own basket by Aarons. They're going to try to get to the big guy. They throw it deep. Murphy has it up high. Spencer picks him up way out here. Davis with Harper on him. Good cut by Aarons. Oh, oh, that's a tough call on the block. Looked like uh, Balter had the clean block there, but they're going to call him with the body. He's got like a mark over time. It's like a dark rain cloud on Aiden Balter tonight. He walks back pulling the shirt. Coach Amico not happy with it. I mean, as the season's going on, Coach Amico's really done a good job being animated against the referees and, and try to get the calls to go his way. It's tough being a first-year coach in Middlesex League, but he's done a great job. First shot is good by Aaron's. Again, if um, any of my friend John Amico's uh, college mates are listening, hello out there in uh, High Point uh, alumni land. He should have gone to Temple, but he didn't go to High Point. We'll let him slide on that one. You guys out there appreciate it. He really appreciates the support he gets from all you guys. We appreciate it, too. He needs it. Second shot, back room, no good. Boxed out by Spencer. Cats trail by 11. Chance to cut it under 10. Marvin's. Sevo spins. He got, Oh, he almost got a traveler's turnaround jumper. No good. That's something he'll learn to do as a junior. He'll get that, he'll get that skill. Throws it in the corner. Davis, long three is no good. Rebounded by Marvin. Marvin looked to push. We'll bring it across half court. Cats trail 11, five minutes to play. You try to force that pass again. You do not want to force that pass. Something we've done all year is got to get ingrained in your head. You can't throw it down deep into the middle. Davis, nice little move to the rack. Up and over, and they go to charge. Spencer had the position. Davis on the ground. That was a really good position. That was Spencer. It was great because Harper funneled his defender right into where the defense, right into where, the, where Spencer would be, and he took the charge. That's what we like to see. Spence playing hard. Got those green shoes on. Can't miss them. Ball's inbound to uh, Marvin. Ben Marvin, the captain. Five minutes to play. Cats still trail 11. They'll need a bucket here. Gets it to Harper. Harper to Otis. Long three. Good! Cuts the lead to 30-22. Cats defensively. Don't reach there. Good defense. And then he wanted to walk. Don't foul back deep. 28 seconds, just gets it over the clock. Montiero out in the corner to Davis, back up to Aarons. Aarons will dribble, penetrate, back up to Montiero. He guys, like that Davis. Down low to Lippi, he's got the double. Davis will shoot the three ball, no good short. Tipped around, rebounded by Harper. Gets it to Marvin. Cats look to cut the lead, eight point deficit. Kicks it out here, that was uh, Febo out to uh, Otis. Harper, Febo. Davis, Harper three ball, good, back to back three. Cats cut the lead to five, timeout Melrose. Cats on the way back, that's what you need. Otis finds the three ball and finds the open three man. 30 to 25, Cats trail five, four minutes, eight seconds left to play here, third quarter. These teams are very evenly matched in the game at Melrose, like I said, here we go. More music, let's listen in. Oh, they stopped. 
got the bass going right now. Guys, I'm glad they're here. Keep me entertained in the timeouts. Melrose are middle ball. Cats will come full pressure. Lippy. Thebo tries to get a foul there. He hurt himself too. Just banged his knee a little bit there. Like I said, Christian Febble, new, new, new basketball player. New, new to basketball right now. Great athlete, athletically skilled. That was one you don't want to give up. Cats playing good pressure defense. They get it to um, Brophy. It's a bit too. Brophy. Guarded by Fevel, back to Aries. Trying to get the ball to Lippy. They haven't been able to do it. Katz has done a good job with Lippy. He's out, don't go for the fake goal, and throws it down low, tips around, out of bounds, off of Davis. It'll be Katz ball, trail by five, with a chance to cut the lead here to one possession game. Here it goes. Game on, here we go, Marvin. The ball across half court. Finds Otis, trying to do the weave. Tough pass, Harper with a great catch. That's why he plays the outfield for his baseball team. Marvin gets in the lane, up and under, lays it up and good! Ben Marvin, good spin mover down three, 30-27. Cats have got him flummox, got to play great defense, don't want to foul their Spence. Harper's going to help pick this guy up, take the charge of Astor, throws up and in. That was a really good athletic play from Lippy, got all the way down. Harper's got to get in front of him, can't run a side of him. 3-14 to play, Cats trail by five. 32-27, up top to Otis, back to Harper, corner to Spence. Spence got the big man on. Marvin fakes the three, dribbles it off his leg. Somebody's got to pick that up. Possession is going to belong to Melrose. That was a tough play. Ben dribbled that off his knee. 2.59 to play here in third quarter. Cats drill by five. Big possession here defensively. They said they've done a really good job defensively on, on them this quarter. Throw to Davis, good catch. Davis to Aarons. Aarons takes it to the middle, back to Davis. Lippy trying to get himself set down while he's a little winded. Back out to Aarons, they got Davis on it. Lippy, spin, spin, throws it up, off the back rim, no good. Good rebound by Marvin. Strong side, coach towards that foul, they're not gonna get it. Bigger man on smaller man. Score! It's a cast score. 229 cats trail by three. 227 to play. Montiero takes it down low. Travel there. Good travel. Cats on fire. Coach Amico bringing them back third quarter action. Ah, that's going to be a substitute. Lamas is in. Montiero is out. Davis is out as well as Zoe's in. So for the cats, Mikey Otis will bring the ball to court. Ben Marvin, Otis, Harper, Spencer, and Febo gets the ball up high to Febo. That'll be a jump ball possession all belong to the Cats. Again, if you're Febo, you're that far up top, you're not a dribbler, don't put the ball down the floor. You made the, made the defender bigger. Ball be inbounded, 29, 30, 32, 29, 2 11 to play, Cats trail by three. They get it up here to Otis. Otis will shoot the long three ball. Ooh, front rim, no good. Maybe a little bit too deep. Two minutes left to play, Cats trail by three. Febo with the steal, nice play. No, kick it out, kick it out, please, there you go. Spencer, take it down low, he'll get caught for the blocking foul. Whoa. Haven't seen that call all night, Frank. Got the block. Spencer goes hard and charges in, gets the block of little line shooting two. Cats trail by three, 157 to play. We got a ball game here. After the tough end of that second quarter, Cats have really come out strong in the third quarter. Had Aiden Balter on the bench as well. First run to Spencer, is good. So he'll take uh, Brophy out. He's bring Davis back in. Cats again. 
Spencer with his second shot. Castrofield, two. 157 to play. Bit interesting two minutes here. Second shot for Spence. Back rim, no good. That'll be over the back on um, Febo, and that's, ooh, ooh. The kid got hurt bad. I don't like that. We're going to have to keep the camera off of the injury. His knee, I, it's not good. So I'm going to, that's Lippy, and Lippy's a really good, he's like a D1 tight end football player, too. Hopefully everything's okay. We're going to go camera silent on that one. And um, we'll just keep it live here a little bit. I hope he's okay. It looks like he's going to, it just must have been a little twist. Doesn't look too bad. You don't want to see that. Never want to see that, no matter whether it's home or away. Kid's been playing great. He's going to get up. He'll limp around. I think he probably hyperextended that one, Frank. Now we're back. He is up. He's going to hobble off. Trainer out there to look over him. Just a game reset. 156 to play. We're in the third period. Third quarter, excuse me. 32-30, Cats trail. Possession arrow belongs to the friends from Melrose. And uh, it'll be belong not a possession. That'll be a foul. That was a foul, I think, on Febo. Uh, team fouls, um, three for the Melrose, four for the Cats. Nobody's in the opponents. Miko checks with uh, Coach Burns, see if everybody's okay. Everybody looks like it's fine. They're going to check on the bench. He looks okay, but again, I don't want to speculate. Ball being about it underneath their own basket by Melrose. Zui, who's going to take it right at Harper. Throws up a wild shot. Harper, do not reach. Why are we fouling like that? The kid was completely out of control. Harper's got a little steadier. He's bigger. Make him make it a tough shot. To Zui, Miles Zui, a junior. First shot for Zui. He's good. They're making free throws. He's going to make free throws. He's going to win the game. I'm just going to see. Uh, Shea Price coming in. Senior Shea Price, he replaces Spencer, so he'll be in for the final two minutes. Shea was on the show, Wildcat Sports Update, along with Jake Broke, Ashley Stalker, and Captain, Captain Roke and Marvin. Second shot is up, off back rim, no good. Good rebound there by Harper, chasing it down. He's got Febo open, Febo's gonna go in, lays it up, and good! And he's hurt down here, laying down, and he's throwing his knee too. That's not a good look either. Second, second knee in the world in a row. Again, he gave the shot. Good, good shot. He got up ahead of the traffic, made the shot. Got tripped up after the shot. Tough to, tough to argue. I don't see the replay because we don't have to replay. But he made the shot. He's down on the ground. Hopefully, just a hyperextend. It might be the ankle too. Yeah, it looks like it's the ankle. So the athleticism of Febo scored that bucket. It's definitely the ankle. All right, we're gonna bring him back out. What? Is, what? You're bringing him back out. He's laying on the floor. They pick him up. He'll hobble over. Christian Febo's up. Like to see him get up. He's going to hobble over the bench. Coach Amico, Coach Sullivan will help him over. Let's reset for you again. That's the second injury we've had. We've had a trainer come out. 140 to play. Cats trail 33 32 by one. Febo cannot put any pressure on that ankle. Most likely, a, hopefully, just a sprain. Could be like you get in the NBA, that high ankle sprain again. Don't need to speculate. Throw the ball in. Price is in. Who do you bring in? Uh, Shea Price is in. Spencer back in for Febo. Lamas feeds it to Zui. Throws it up. Bad shot. No good tip. Coach wanted a foul. Didn't get it. Marvin. 126 to play. Cats can take the lead. There's no big guy in the middle. Shea Price almost got away with a walk there. Dribble penetration. Oh, not a bad pass by Mikey, come on Otis, you don't need to throw that ball there. No breakthrough. Back out to Davis. Drives through the lane, throws it up. They're gonna call a block on Spencer. As he was moving. You don't like the pass down here. I talked about that all day. You don't want to throw the pass into traffic. You have the advantage with their big out. 109 to play. Cats with a one-point lead. That'll be a two-shot foul. So he's going to the hole. Spencer got called for the block. 33-32, Cats trail by one. This free throw is sponsored by New England Sports Floors. First shot, good. Second free throw is sponsored by John Sewer and Drain Cleaning. The name to know when your drains don't flow. Hopefully this is the name to know when the shot don't go. 109 to play, Cats trail by two. Big minute left here. I won't be surprised, Coach looks like he's gonna call timeout on the miss. That'll be tipped out of bounds. We Wilmington basketball, no, he was, was gonna call timeout. I don't know, he was way down there. Spencer had good body position there. Tipped out by uh, Lamas. 
Cats will bring the ball up, trailing by two. Try to sweat, spread everything out. Otis finds Price. Price to Otis, got lucky right with that. Good read there by uh, Montiero. Lays it up and in again. Bad, 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 bad passing. You gotta see where you're looking, where you're throwing. You gotta throw the pass something like that's gonna get stolen. That's happened to us almost all year. The two point lead goes to four, 36 32. You would think that after the course of the year, they'd understand. You do want to, you gotta, if you're looking to make that pass, you know, ball fake the pass, then make the pass. They, they seem to fail to do that a lot. So, timeout called by Melrose. Uh, it is a 36 32 Melrose lead. Possession hour belongs to the Red Hawks from Melrose. 48.3 seconds left to play. Cats again shorthanded with Febo out now, and uh, Tiago Gomez, their starting guard, one of their top three point shooters. He's out, out with an illness. Gonna have to bear down, play tough. Our friends from Melrose are out. Lippy, their best inside player, he's played really good today. Nice little touch within 10 feet. A really good job. So. We got keyboards, we got drums, we got bass, we got guitar, we got everything down there. We got a general, like a rock and roll band, Frank. They're doing good. Love them having them here. Hopefully they'll hear our last game, but you never know. They're going to be hockey. We'll see them there. Okay, Cats can run the floor. Gets it to Harper. They're going to trap Otis. Gets it ahead to Marvin. Marvin slides it out. That numbers, drives it in, lays it up, and good, Ben Marvin. Good dribble penetration for the bucket. 36-34, shot clock, game clock, just about a second difference. Montiero finds out, the, he walked there, they got away with that one. Gets down low, picks it up by Otis, they got to slow it down. Settle it down. One shot here, 25 seconds left, 35 clock, shot clock off. Tries to get it down low to Spencer, lays it up and in. So much for that one shot, Spence gets position. We're tied at 36. A little bit of havoc here created by the defense. Montero feeds it back over. Long three-point shots, good! Stop the momentum, three-quarter by Davis. Catch with three seconds left, throws it away. They're gonna get a half-court shot. It's not gonna get off in time. He lost track of the time, Zooey. So we'll end the third quarter, 39 Melrose, 36 Wildcats. When we come back, the uh, Melrose will have the ball to start the fourth quarter. And we'll be back with more action after this. Now, this is our, our second to last live game here, February 10th. Boys basketball, boys trail by three, going to the fourth quarter. Great third quarter for the Cats. They uh, mounted to come back from the deficit at halftime. We got the pep band, we got the cheerleaders, we got the referees, we got the crowd, we got the uh, the cancer fundraising operation going. We got Frank Messer on the board, we got Jim Boyle on the, on the, on the mic. And we've got uh, Melrose inbound, the pay, inbound here underneath the scores, underneath the big guy here, me. That'll be to Aarons. Aarons, to, that's the penetration they're looking for. He's stuck in there. He had got away a little walk. There's another three from the corner. No good. Rebounded by Zui. No, by Lamas, excuse me. Lamas takes it right to the lane. Loses his handle. How can he catch it? Oh, must have gotten touched. That's another travel. They're going to call the walk. That was a great defensive play. Really backed as he went by, touched the ball. Lovell in the game for the catch. So it's Lovell, Harper, Marvin, Spencer. And Otis throws it across, gets up to Lovell. Lovell, oh, nice fade to Marvin. Gets the guy up in there, throws up, misses the shot, tipped out of bounds. They didn't get the call they wanted there. Ben had him up in the air, and he got hacked coming down, but they didn't call the foul. 39-36, 7-31 to play. Good look, good way to break the press. Good, good look by uh, Lovell as well. Found Marvin open. This the shot. Looked like he was fouled, wasn't called. Live and die by that, though. So Aaron's up top. Real penetration for Zui up and under. And good. They're doing a good job still without the big guy getting the ball to the rack. Gets it here to 
Harper back to Lovell. Throws it across to Otis. Otis gonna pull it back out. Harper three ball, good! Harper cuts the five point lead to two, 41-39. Cats trail, 6.55 to play. Oh, they're gonna call a foul at Lovell, that'll be a one on one. Lovell to foul, that'll be on Aaron, so they'll shoot one on one, Aaron's number 11. John Aaron's a sophomore, go to the line shooting two. Charlie Rosa coming in the game, probably replacing Har um, Lovell. Harper, um, I'm, I don't know what uh, foul situation we have with Balter, but he must have four, because he would have been back with three here to start the quarter. He's gonna keep, um, I guess, 10's going in for the shooter. <laughs> Coach is making sure he doesn't run too far. 10's gonna go in, so uh, Brophy's gonna come in for Aaron's after the one-on-one -on -one if he makes, no, he wants to take him out now. So he'll replace Lamas, excuse me. With Lippy with a knee problem, knee injury, and we got um, Febo on the other end with an ankle. I don't know if Lippy's gonna come back. Hopefully he's okay, hopefully Febo's okay as well. First shot is up, it's good. Make your free throws, win your game. Four point advantage, 42-39, catch, three point advantage, excuse me, catch trail. This is the sophomore, John Aarons, number 11. In for the catch, Charlie Rose at 22 came in. So second shot for Aarons, it's up. Off back rim, no good, rebounded by Harper. Harper finds Otis. Otis will get trapped there. Rosa, don't wanna, there you go, take your time. Oh, down low, Spencer wide open, lay off, man, missed the I got fouled. He'll go to the line, foul's gonna be on um, Brophy. Good read, Mar uh, Ben Marvin saw him, catch trail by three, big free throws here for Mr. Noah Spencer, number 34, junior. 6.43 to play here, quarter number four. Spencer's first shot, is up. No good, rims it out, this is a big one. We need this one. We need to cut this lead to two. Spencer. Now it's just a matter of a game plan when, when Coach uh, Amico decides to bring, Har all, um, excuse me, takes the shot, bring all of Balter, all, uh, Aiden Balter back in the game. I'm tongue tied after two games. Zui takes the ball right to the rack, throws it up and in. I don't know, you gotta keep somebody in front of these, these penetration players. Cats trail by four, 44-40, that'll be out of bounds. They got lucky with that one. That looked like it hit the line. Otis is triple teamed and fouled. And two teammates arguing, and that's Davis and Montiero fighting over something. Balter's gonna come back in the game. Rose will go out. Down by four, 6.25 to play. Nico calls his play. Won't get there. That's a foul, he's reaching in. Just go right at him. Got Spencer, Spencer bumps, slides it up and in. Good play, Marvin, took it to the rack. Took it to the lane, rather, excuse me. Got, got Spencer for the two, 44-42, Cats trail. 6-13 to play, Aiden Balter back in the game. Cats will drop back and it looks like a zone defense, two, three zone. Trying to make them shoot the outside shot. Montero, there's Aaron's ball fake. Back to Montero, over here to the Zooey. Zooey's three is good. That's what you're forcing him to do and that's what he does. Gets the three, Cats trail by five, 47-42. 5.52 to play. They never say die, Cats, never say die. Marvin gonna call for the travel, bad turnover there. Don't, don't hang your head, we gotta play defense, gotta get back and play. 5.45 to play, Cats trail, 47-42. Aaron's will bring the ball up across half court. They did a good job since they lost the big guy and spreading the floor, hitting a couple threes, getting a couple easy layups. Cats need a defensive stop right now. Montero's gonna go for the travel. You wanna see that turnover, he faked this. Faked and took a couple extra steps. Cats will inbound, left side here. 5.28 to play, a lot of game time left. Need a bucket here, gotta play good offense after that good set of defense. Marvin brings the ball across half court. Mike Otis, Harper. Marvin's back down to Balter, down low. One dribble and turn, nice move. Harper, layup, throws up left and righty. Righty hook, excuse me, misses the shot. That's where you want to get on the ball. 5'10 to play. Brophy back to Aarons, over to Montero. He almost walked again. Back to Davis, the three ball is going to be short. Rebounded by Otis, he's got Marvin ahead. Oh, he threw it just a little bit long. Ben will settle it down, take it right to the rack again. Nice play by Marvin! Ben Marvin to the rack for two. Cuts the lead to three. 
Body control and good. Ben playing a great offensive half here. 446 to play. Catch drill, 47-44. Aarons will swing it around. Out here, there's a three ball in the corner. Good, you gotta see Zoe. He's gonna make those threes. The only guy getting three. Timeout by Coach Amigo. He sees somebody he doesn't like. They left, uh, they've left um, Miles Zoe open. Let's take a little breather. Need to get the voice going back, see what they're gonna play. They're gonna play me some Bruce. Here we go. We get this frag. Now they're trying, they've been practicing this. They're afraid to play it for me, Frank. Seek it. There we go. Reliving some of the Jim Boyle's glory days with Bruce. They played that one just for me. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Cats need a bucket here. Marvin. Oh, dribble, a little slow dribble. Under pressure. He beats his dribble. He beats the middle of the dribble. Right to Spence, he gets fouled. So that'll be the uh, 16th foul. That actually sounded quite good. Uh, on um, so Both teams are in the bonus now. Big free throws coming up here. Cats doing a good job getting the ball to rack. Spencer's first shot, 4.22 to play. Off and off from, we gotta make the free throws, we gotta make free throws. They're hitting threes, we're not making freeze. They hit the three, we need to make the free throw. 4.22 to play, Spencer can cut the lead to five. Shots up, good. Cats will press, put a little, put a little heat on. Zooey's hit some big threes here for them. Zooey penetrates, gets out of control. Nice play by Harp, steal it. Back to Marvin's, Ben. Uh, Austin Harper with a really good play. Katz looking to get the lead. Don't elbow him out. Nice little move. Lefty up and in. Good, Ben Marvin dominating in the paint right now. Paint right now. Katz trailed by one. 50-49, 3.48 to play. Defense chance are coming from the kids on the bench. Montero gets a little bit of penetration. That'll be good. Three ball. Not towards the line from Brophy. Katz got to be aware where their shooters are. Clock, I don't know, it's, I don't know what there's some kind of issue with the score. Well, down low to Spence, Spence gets hacked, he'll go to the line shooting uh, two shots. Like to get points. Oh, they're telling the basket's stuck. Mikey Otis with the hops, takes it down. Okay, let's reset. Tats trail by six after that three ball. By Brophy. Spencer at the line again. He's making a living here. Got to eat. Got to make it. Got to score. Spence hasn't made it front end yet. First shot. Good. We needed that one. 58. 50, uh, excuse me. 53 48. Catch trail five. Big shot here. Get it to four. Gonna play some good solid defense. Don't give up the three ball. Good. Nice job, Noah Spencer. 333 to play. A little bit of token pressure. Gonna get, 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 get set up. Spence with uh, on errands. Aaron's Montero, guarded by Otis. Montero spins, throws it up, gets fouled, and doesn't get the in one opportunity. Again, they're getting beat on ball and head fakes. They got to stay steady. They want to shoot that short range jumper and they're moving. Let them shoot the short range jumper and they're moving. Don't load, don't slide. 320 to play. Cats trail by four. Uh, Nasir, senior Nasir Montero at the line, shooting two. First shot, back rim, good. Shooters roll off the back rim. I don't think he'll press. Coach is way down at the uh, end. Burns. Second shot. It's good. Make both free throws. Sends extended to a six point lead. They're not going to press here. 319 to play. Cats need a bucket. They got a little confused here on their offensive set. 
Marvin's nice ball fake, throws it up, no good. Rebounded by Balter off his hands. He'll get foul, go for the foul. Again, good, good opportunity for the Cats. 55-49. That'll be it for Balter, his fifth. So we're gonna go down the stretch without both, oh, maybe not. And it's his fifth, and they'll have to make a substitution for him. All right, so reset game, reset here. Yeah. It'll be Brophy going along. He just hit a big three as well. Rose is going to come in for Balter. Looks like a call to putting his hands down on that miss, little Miss Bunny there. 55-49, six-point lead. Big freeze throws here for Brophy. See, he's a junior, Connor Brophy. First shot, good. That was a one-on-one -on -one to him. Extends the lead to seven. Cats made a valiant comeback and got the game tied. And I think they may have taken the lead, but got to really get good offense here. Second shot. Off front run, no good. That almost a foul there on Davis. Cats trail by seven. Need an offensive set here that works. Here's Marvin. Out to Harper. He walked there, got away with it. Spence. Fights, gets blocked. They're going to be a foul there. Again, you, you know, if you don't have it, it's tough. You like to try to get the ball in, but if they collapse in, get it and get it out there. A little bit slow with that pass out. It's going to be a foul fest here. Free throw line for coming up here for our friend again, Brophy, back to the line. Brophy will get two shots here. Cats, uh, cats are in the double penalty. One on one if they get fouled by Melrose. First shot for Brophy. Up, nope. back rim, no good. The worst it can be is an eight-point game, which keeps it a uh, three, still three-possession game now. Or what they would have gotten. Shea Price in for Rosa, a little bit of offense. Shots up, it's good. Timeout, Melrose. Two, let's reset. Two forty-three to play. Cats trail, fifty-seven forty-nine. By my math, that's eight points. They got three possessions. They got to get some good offensive possessions here and then make some defensive stops. Ever since the big guy Lippy went out for Melrose with the, uh, looked like a knee and knee, hurt, knee, knee problem, doesn't it? Um, they've done a good job in getting in, inside, outside. Made a couple of easy layups, got to the free throw line. Made a couple big threes as well. So the Cats have to bear down here. They've done it before, they can do it again. Let's listen to the pep band once again. Cats will bound the ball on their own basket. Or under the opposing basket, I'm sorry. Marvin to Otis. Straight, a long three for Marvin. Back rim, no good. Rebounded by Aarons. Don't need a foul here. 2.30 to play. Had a good look, a little bit deep. Make the shot, he cut the lead. Cats trail by eight. 2.22 to play. Aarons will hold the ball out. Oh, he gets the lead. Can't leave him alone like that. Lays it up. Brophy, Brophy's played, Brophy, excuse me, yeah, Brophy, Connor Brophy's played really well here down the stretch. For our friends from Melrose, Cats trail by 10. That's almost a travel. They try to force that pass again. Brophy's going to take it down right there, throws it up, gets fouled. We'll go to the line shooting two. Two minutes left. Cats have gotten themselves into trouble here. So Brophy, junior Connor Brophy, has really played Solid basketball over the last two, two and a half minutes. Cats have seen their uh, tie game, a one point disadvantage go to, uh, now it's 10 still, 59-49. Cats need to find some threes. Wouldn't be shocked if Coach Amico, once we get across half court, calls timeout, try to set up a play. Second shot is good. Cats drill by 11. Still a four, that makes it a four possession game. Price, 
Otis cuts through the lane, throws the runner up. It's no good. Rebound, Spencer throws up. Good. Catch trail by nine, 148 to play. Oh, can't let him beat you. They're letting him beat him off the right side dribble. Beats it out here for Roby. He'll shoot the three ball. Short, that'll be a jump ball. Possession arrow will be long. Possession arrow belong to Wilmington on that. Let's see if he calls the timeout here as they bring it up across half court. Unfortunate break on the possession arrow for the Cats. He's not going to play. Need a bucket. Got Harper. Harper dribbles around. He's got Otis. Over to Spence. Spence got the lane. Don't force Spence. Don't force Spence. He gets fouled to go to the line. Go to the line. I wonder if they call that a shooting foul or a one and one. That foul's on Brophy. And he's fouled out. That's five. A lot of fouls tonight, Frank. It's a foul fest. What time? I, I mean, I haven't even looked at the watch yet. Oof, 8.38. Way past our bedtime. Like I said, second to we're live, and again, thanks you to our sponsors, New England Sports Floors, John Sewer and Drain Cleaning, Jim Perdue's Automotive Service Center, and Full Circle, Full Circle Athletics. You know, WCTV's basketball coverage is powered by these guys, and we wouldn't be able to cover everything without their support. We appreciate it. Thanks to Athletic Director Dennis Ingram for helping us out. Every time we need him, I make my very special thanks to Frank Messer on the board behind me, keeping these games going live. We appreciate Spencer's first shots. Good. We're going to hobble Febble off here. It looks um, a little more serious than you would think. They have to probably get x-rays on that. Second shot is good. Spencer, four, four straight shots from the free throw line. Cats trail by seven. Oh, my God. They break it ahead to Davis, back to Zoe. Zoe's been good too, getting the penetrating hole. Takes it right there, feeds it to three, blocked, good. Excuse me, three's Lamas. Cat's a little bit slow there. Price, Cat's trail by nine. One minute to play. Got to get a three ball off here, take it right to the rack. Cat's get out, a nice move, he gets fouled, tries too much. Cat's are gonna, probably not what we wanted. That'll be a blocking foul on Otis. We'll go to the line again, so now it's gonna be a walk to the free throw line. 55 seconds left to play here in the ball game. Cats trail by nine. Sort of little last four minutes of the fourth quarter, they sort of ran out of gas. And then a great comeback in the third quarter and you just haven't been able to generate enough offense. Shots up, it's good. Six three, fifty three, ten point game. That makes it a four possession game. Shots up and good. By Mr. Lamas, Johnny Lamas, sophomore. Marvin will bring it across half court. Finds Otis, back to Harper. Harper up to Price. Price drives the lane, gets fouled. They'll go to the line. Shea Price, senior. 42.9 seconds to play here in the fourth quarter. Cats trail by 11. They'll need like a sort of a miracle comeback here if we're going to have it. They got in the game close. Ran out away from them a little bit. First shot for Price. Back rim, no good. Shea Price will shoot one more. Cats going to play defense. Shot by Price is good. Makes it a 10 point advantage. Still a four possession game, 42 seconds left. Melrose is making their free throws as well. Spencer will play a little hard defense. And I don't want to foul there. Spence not that far away from the basket, making them throw it around. Like I said, just like in their girls game, as we got down to the wire here, this one's just about academic. It's going to be the what the final score is. Kids played hard, great third quarter to get them back in the game after a tough first half. But the last three, four or five minutes of this fourth quarter have been dreadful. Uh, they've been dreadful in the offensive end. Shot is up and good. John Aarons, he's a sophomore, number 11. They'll drop back off. He's got to play good, solid defense. The tough loss here after two straight wins. Home game, and they don't get the rebound. He's the only guy on the floor, and he gets the rebound. Nobody boxed out the shooter, and they're all looking at each other. Smolinski's going to get a chance to come in. Smolinski, Elliott, Lovell. Smolinski, it'll be Smolinski, Elliott, Sullivan, Lovell, and Gray. So uh, Ryan Gray's going to get a chance. He's, I've, had him, I've had him in class. going to have him for baseball. I'm going to get a chance to call a little bit of the action with him in there. First shot's good. You're not boxing out there. It's like the cardinal sin. 
after a really, 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 really good third quarter. Uh, not a good last four minutes. It's a shame. They played really well. They're going to lose by a lot more than you would have thought. 66-54. And uh, Melrose is emptying out their bench, too. So, again, we did the um, play for K tonight. We have our sponsors. The kids played well. Tough fourth quarter. Tough second and fourth quarter is really for them. Again, shots up. And it's good. And they'll extend the lead to 13. They'll back it off. Gray will bring it up across half court. Beats his man off the dribble. Take it right to the rack. Ryan, he gets hit from behind. Picked up by Elliott. Back over to Lovell. Throws it up. Block. Picked up by Melrose. And they'll just run clock here. 19 seconds left. No foul here. Just set back. So we'll have a final score most likely unless they shoot, which I wouldn't surprise them. Unless Malinsky fouls him. Final score is going to be 67-54. Hopefully, uh, both um, Febo, Christian Febo and uh, Connor, let's see, Lippy, Cameron Lippy, hopefully they're okay after the little freak injuries. Final score here from the uh, Cushing Gymnasium. Melrose 67, Wildcats 54. We'll see you on Tuesday night for our final live broadcast of Boys and Girls Basketball. Thanks to Frank Messer, anybody else in the crew that has helped us. Tom Pazera helped us the first game. I'm Jim Boyle, and we'll see you on down the road.